One day after a fired Mayo Clinic technician was sentenced for giving patients hepatitis C, questions are being raised about the actions of one of his former employers. The federal judge gave Stephen Bumel 30 years in prison after he apologized for infecting five Mayo patients while he was stealing their pain medication for himself. One of those patients died. During his sentencing hearing, it was revealed that Bumel had once been disciplined for misconduct relating to a drug habit while he was working at Memorial Hospital before he joined Mayo. Channel 4's Elizabeth Kate talked with a woman who wants to know how Bumel's apparent drug addiction was able to slip through the medical system's cracks. So much going through your mind. Angry her father died after contracting hepatitis C at Mayo Clinic, Bonnie Ramsey is advocating for change within the medical field. She's frustrated Stephen Bumel, a former radiology tech, admittedly infected her dad by stealing his pain medication during a procedure, swapping it with a contaminated needle. I have mixed feelings about the situation. Um, I, I place more of uh, blame on the system, and it's not necessarily a HEPA law as much as it is a reporting law. She's concerned because another hospital had caught Bumel before. At his sentencing in federal court, the judge pointed out that while Bumel worked at Memorial Hospital, they sent him to a drug rehab program, information that wasn't passed along to his next employer. I believe that if somebody is stealing medication and you're a health care provider or worker and you're stealing medication from patients, then that should be a reportable issue to the next hospital that you apply for. The judge recognized that in 2004, Bumel's supervisors here at Memorial Hospital caught him stealing pain medication out of a trash can. There are many employers who choose to disclose nothing, and they're privileged within the law to do that. But I don't think that's the right course. I think the right course is you have an obligation to tell people, or to tell future employees, and to protect the patients by doing that. As an attorney who represented Mayo Clinic patients, Frank Ashton can't speak specifically about this case, but believes the reporting rules may need to be modified. I think it would be very helpful if the law were changed so that it mandated a hospital reporting that information to another hospital, but that's not the current state of the law. We contacted Memorial Hospital about Bumel's history, and they sent us this statement saying, quote, once discovered, we immediately took disciplinary and corrective actions, ensured the proper entities were notified, and ensured Bumel satisfied all Department of Health requirements. When he left Memorial, he was certified according to state standards as being able to practice his profession, and no further reporting was appropriate. Bumel now faces 30 years in prison. Elizabeth Kate, Channel 4, The Local Station.